our question is show that gl2 z7 is group first what is this group this group we call general linear group of invertible matrix invertible matrix so similarly if i write and this two decide the order of the matrix that mean uh, you can say general uh, invertible matrix of order 2 similarly if i write g n z p then this is this become general linear group of invertible matrix invertible matrix of order n that means this n tell us what is the order of the matrix now we are doing this so first we know first we say what is z7 z7 has the element 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 6 and operation is operation is addition modulo 7 so first we take any two element and we check the closure property so first we check closure the number 1 the closure we take two element one i take 0 1 2 3 and second i take 1 2 3 4 okay that mean let these element are from gl obviously these element are from this set because uh, these numbers fall in z7 the domain is satisfied now i check the multiplication the product of this matrix 0 1 2 3 1 into 1 2 3 4 the product give us 0 0 3 0 3 0 3 0 and this become 2 plus 9 and this become 0 plus 2 uh, sorry 0 plus 4 and this become 4 plus 12 right and this become 3 4 11 16 now our operation is addition modulo 7 so i divide by 7 then these no need so these are same 3 4 but 11 is by the definition of congruent already i have defined that become this element become 4 after divide 7 i get the remainder 4 and 16 if i divide by 7 i get 2 right and see what where this element this element obviously belong to gl to z7 so closure property is satisfied number 2 associativity aso cativity easy to check just we take take the three element from gl and we can check the associativity number 3 identity what is identity what is identity in gl obviously normally multiplicative identity is this and obviously this is this element satisfy this domain now we check about the inverse so i take i check the inverse of this element right so i delete this 
and I delete this. So I find the inverse of this element. Now number four, number four is inverse. So to find the inverse, what is the way? First we find the determinant. That means this is equal to 1 by determinant of 0, 1, 2, 3 into the cofactors. This is 3 and this is minus 2 and this is minus 1. This is uh, this becomes 0 dash 0 dash. Now, first the determinant, this become 1 by, uh, this become minus 0 minus 2, that is, and this I write, minus 2, minus 1, 0, and this become 1 by minus 2, 3, minus 1, minus 2, 0. Now, this 1 upon minus 2. Now, this is, first we check, what is minus 2? So, minus 2, I want to bring in this set. Otherwise, it will not work. So, simply if I add 7 here, then if I divide, I mean, if I divide by 7, then this number is, uh, I can write 7, plus r and here is some q cosine then because r has the choice r can be or r can belong to this number or simply i say as r belong to the set 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 so how this is satisfied if i take r 0 and q is any number I take, any integer I take, this equation is not, is not satisfied. So I take r is equal to 5. If I take r is equal to 5, then for q I can take minus 7, uh, minus 1. So minus 1 into 7. That means for r 5 and q is equal to minus 1. This equation is satisfied because this become minus 7 and from minus 7, if in minus 7 I add 5 then become minus 2. So this part is satisfied. That means minus 2 is 5 <coughs> by congruence. So this become, this become equal to 1 by 5, 3 minus 1 minus 2, 0. Right? Now, what is, what is, or that equation also I can write, minus 2 is congruent to 5 under mod 7. With this formula, this minus 2 become 5. Right? Now, what is 1 by 5? It is still fraction and this number also, uh, still 1 by 5 is not there. So, I want to convert this number in this number. So this 1 by 5 mean 5 inverse. So what is the 5 inverse in Z7? That mean what we multiply with 5 and divide it by 7. That means this is what number? That we get 1. Okay, because 1 is the identity, multiplicative identity. So here, if I multiply 3, then it become 15 and if it is divided by 7, then uh, 15 divided by 7 is the remainder 1. So 1 is the remainder. That means the One by five is five inverse is equal to three. Three. That means 
Now this one by 5 can be replaced by 3. This become 3 into 3 minus 1 minus 2 0 and this become 9 and this become minus 3 and this become minus 6 this become 0. Now these numbers except 0 no number in Z7. So how we can make this, these numbers in Z7. So 9 obviously if divided by 7 we get 2. So by modulo this become 2 when it is divided by 7 and this minus 3 this number is congruent to what? That means this number is if I add 7 then it become 4. 4 and this if I add 7 that means addition modulo and this is 0. So this is the inverse of this matrix. That means we got this whole I remove that means I check the I go 0, 2, 1, 3 inverse is 2, 1, 4, 0. Is this the true or right answer? So how we can check it? We can just multiply these two matrix and we must get identity that means our inverse is right that means check 0 1 4 3 into 2 4 1 0 so what we get this is 0 and this is 1 or you can say 0 plus 1 and this column become 0 plus 0 0 plus 0 and this become 4 plus 3 and this column become uh, 8 plus 0 that means this become 1 0 7 8 now 8 is 8 and 7 are not there so using the multiplication modulo I get 1 uh, sorry it is the addition modulo this 7 can be replaced by 0 because it is complete this is 0 and this is 0 and this is when we divide 8 by 7 we get the remainder 1 that means we get identity hence we can say that inverse of this element is this so all four properties satisfy and we can say hence Hence, GL to Z7 is group, group.